everybody, welcome back. I'm Count Christo. This is Terra Invicta. And I'm just going to adjust where my face is slightly. There you go. Now you have a slightly better view of the Counselor stats. Right, welcome back. It's been a little while since I played Terra Invicta. To be perfectly honest with you, I came close to just playing off camera. I've had COVID, lung infection, you know, all, all the good stuff slows me down. The usual things. That means it's very good. I'm not a professional YouTuber. <laughs> uh, but we're back. We're back. I'm not going to keep playing. I'm very worried. Um, I feel like by not going hot against the aliens fast enough, I've kind of doomed myself. Um, because I do not know what to do about the 3,000 alien fleet parked in low Earth orbit. Um, if I could make a fleet that was like 1,000, assuming these numbers are, meaning, are meaningful, which of course I'm sure they're, I'm sure that's more complicated than just using the numbers, but then we could beat most of the individual little alien fleets that are dotted around. Certainly the vast majority of them. But this 3000 one parked in low Earth orbit, it's, uh, I mean, what am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and they've got, yeah, mothership here. It looks like they only have one mothership, unless some of these are mothership. Because the mothership itself provides, yeah, 500 power. Yes, there's a couple of motherships out there. Um, so I don't really know what I can do. Um... Got you coming and joining the fleet in low Earth orbit. Takes them a while to get to us, which is good. But um, yeah, this fleet. What do I do? What the heck do I do about this fleet? And I think um, I have. I, I, I'm on the Terran Victor Reddit, and I saw some posts recently about like what levels of income people have. Ours is trash, <laughs> at least compared to what some people do. But you know, comparison is the theft of joy. So I'm not going to try and do too much. But we're just going to press on. Maybe we lose. That's fine. That's totally fine. It's also hard to completely lose. Um, because I think, you know, I can hold Earth almost indefinitely, I think, um, with enough nukes, especially if we're willing to be at total war with the aliens. The problem is holding Earth is, uh, you know, not sufficient. <laughs> so let's take a inventory of our nations and what the current situation is. We're going to integrate Taiwan into the Pan-Asian Combine. Um, uh, that's going to pump our, uh, lower our cohesion score, unfortunately, and probably cause a bunch of strife. So I need to get on the strife there. But we have the US armies are all deploying to uh, conquer Taiwan for us, which is good. Taiwan is a nuclear power, so it will beef up the number of barrages that we have available to us in China. Um, apart from that, China's cohesion is now trending towards above five which means it's time to dramatically lower welfare spending. As it turns out, we don't actually need to lower this more, I think. Um, all it does is cohesion. All, all the inequality affects, rather, is cohesion, I believe. Um, oh, and it also affects the amount of spoils they expect, but that doesn't really matter because we're pretty safe from coups, I think. Well, as long as I don't let the strife keep ticking up. But this is a really, really good moment, right? China, China, Pan-Asian Combine, now, um, whose flag is a bit confusing because you don't get claims on like all this land over here. But anyway, Pan-Asian Combine now has a cohesion value that is, you know, workable. So the question is, should we invest in this? Because um, this doesn't give cohesion directly. Unity does. So what I think we should do now is dramatically lower the welfare spending. Basically, I just want it to very slightly still decrease inequality because i think the cohesion will will have more problems as well when we're um when we're not in wars um but we could also just declare war on you know someone else but yeah we'll keep we'll keep some welfare spending um because uh, yeah now i look at it it's 5.3 but it's actually 4.3 when you account for the one from wars um so but anyway we're going to crank um some unity spending i think um because that's what actually increases the cohesion. Uh, Unity does drop the democracy score, which is not ideal. So maybe I don't. Maybe I just let it trend up, actually, and just focus it even more on boost. Because boost spending in China is really efficient, right? Yeah, up to 0.4. Pretty darn good. Okay, I'm happy with that as a, as a China spending. And we should get rid of their armies um, as well. All but one, because there's something about, like, you can only ally people if you have at least one army or something. So I think I'm going to keep one one Chinese army around. Anyway, India, more investment points than China, I note, despite the dramatically lower GDP per capita. 
Uh, is way too homogenous. Uh, its rest value is 7. So yeah, no welfare spending. I need the inequality in India to rise. Um, and then we're just focused on boosts. Some unity just to kind of keep things under control. Can probably drop that a little bit. And then yeah, some knowledge investment still going on. Um, just because, you know, science is always important. EU, unity is too high. Cohesion, rather, is too high. So we're letting the stuff tick up. Other than that, very similar. Eurasian Union, cohesion is too high. So I should be allowing that to drop more on the inequality. Uh, and it looks like it wouldn't be a bad moment to merge the Eurasian Union into the European Union. Um, so if we could do that tech soon, that would be good because that would help us lower the cohesion of the European Union and, and get the inequality even lower. And then over the seas in the United States of North America, we obviously have this terrible, terrible cohesion because we declared our wars without rivalries, which we should not have to do again because I believe I have um, rivaled everybody. Oh, not quite. Chile, Cameroon, Tunisia. I hope there weren't good reasons to not do this because I'm going to do it now. Oh, yeah, right. I remember why we... Well... It doesn't hurt to rival Bolivia, actually, because we're never going to unify the two, so that's fine. Uh, but yeah, we want everyone everyone rivaled, except Exodus, who we're trying to be friendly with. Okay. Uh, apart from that, on priorities, yeah, unity, because we were being hit hard, and I want to buy back the cohesion. A little bit of welfare. I don't know if we need that, actually. But it's only 2%, and it's holding it. It's holding it basically steady, so that's fine. Yes, yeah, so knowledge investments and boosts, because we, we urgently need to, uh, to sort our boosts so that we don't get a problem from all of our Control towers and things which have their, their strong boost requirements. So let's get the game going here. Oh yeah, in terms of my fleets, we've got Alpha 40, which consists of three marine ships, and then Alpha 6, which consists of three... They're monitors these days, aren't they? Yeah, our, uh, our Earth orbit monitors with their low, low Delta V. Uh, if we go to Earth, just us. Sorry, I'm in the wrong, wrong window here. We want to go Academy. Let's take a look at these monitors. Remind me what we're doing here. Yes, yeah, so we've got some Ares torpedoes, which I think are pretty good. And extra magazines, so we can really fire a lot. Um, and yeah, Delta V-wise, what did I put it at? Uh, yeah, we've got 23 Delta V, which is plenty, I think, for moving around in, uh, in low Earth orbit. Um, but we will need to get to a point where we can, we can crank out bigger ships. Let's take a moment now. So these things, let's assume the 30 fleet strength on here is, is you know, somewhat accurate okay so we're trying to beat a 3000 power fleet i don't i was getting out a calculator i can do 3000 divided by 30 we need 100 of these ships um that's obviously not realistic certainly not in the short term we could i think actually afford it from a mission control perspective from a cost perspective um we could not uh, we could afford about 40 of them based on metal less based on water i think uh, but I'm not doing the maths very hard. We do have some space works going up, though, so we can generate stuff pretty fast. How quickly can we build these monitors? I have no idea what the meta is. 80 days, I think that's pretty slow, to be honest. But, um, I mean, we can only build four at a time. As soon as we start building them, go over the control point cap, the aliens will freak out and realize we're a threat and start hitting us hard. Okay, so... Um, what could we design? You know, I've invented up to destroyers. What was the difference again? Monitors have more hull weapons. Destroyers have more nose weapons. That's right. Okay, so we need to invent bigger ships, basically. I think what we have to do to fight the aliens is just suddenly, like, out of nowhere, we're just like, surprise, big ships. <laughs> I think that's uh, I think that's the way we can do it. Like, we, we declare war by completing the construction of a whole bunch of really big ships. The other thing we need to do is continue working on um, retrofitting our space stations such that they all have decent numbers of defenses. Protect this station. I assume I stole this from the Protectorate. <laughs> we should um, put some battle stations in here. Right, but the first step before war is not quite retrofitting for battle stations because they're very expensive. It's making sure that I have, yeah, all the mining that I could be doing happening. So let me take a look at control point caps. Right now, my self-imposed control point cap is 235. Um, are there any non-academy bases on Mercury? Yes, there are a number of them. Okay, so what I think we should probably do... Oh, hang on, those are in orbit. Don't care about those. I want to... Uh, I'm only interested in things on the ground. Let's just look at it this way. Oh, sorry, not F2. 
not F1, F3, that's the command I was looking for. So around Mercury, we control everything. On Mars, we do not. So there are two stations on Mars. I should take these. It's more control point effective to take these than to upgrade the uh, other stations, I suspect. Although in these cases, that might be wrong because their outputs are not very good, which is, I'm sure, why I let these guys have them. Um, but yeah, let's, let's take a look here. I mean, what have you got? 423 strength, Jesus. He's got a point defense array, a point defense array. Two point defense arrays are giving you 427. That's that's surprising to me. That is so high. Maybe I'm underestimating the ability of my space stations to defend themselves, which should be good. Um, but, yeah. And I don't believe if you have a fleet with this, with um, the ability to assault a station, you have to be able to dock with it. Yes. Or an enemy base from interface orbit above it or on another site in the body. So I think I might be able to launch an assault on this by... Oh yeah, look at this. We've got 2,000 strength on, on our Mercury base. I think we might be able to launch an assault on this without destroying its point defense array. Let's experiment with that. How much Delta V do you have? 30. Okay, let's, let's try. Go to Mars. We'll learn. We'll experiment. We'll fail. We'll break things. That's fine. Uh, right, where am I trying to go? Mars. Go to Mars. Go to a interface Martian orbit. And you can take your time getting there. It's going to take a while to get there. And uh, do I have any stations around Mars with which I can refuel? If not, that is rather foolish of me. It looks like I don't right now. Is that because stuff's... Do I not have a single station around Mars? Did I get rid of it? I think I got rid of it. Let me check. These are, this is base, 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 base. Yeah, I think I got rid of my only base on Mars, and none of these have the capacity to facilitate refueling. That is, um, that was a mistake. <laughs> to put it mildly, that was a mistake. Okay, so one of these nanofactories at somewhere with good defenses, so red base has a, a layered defense rate and a, a battle stations. I'd like to replace the nanofactory with, uh, I don't need to build ships here, not, not under my current strategy. So I guess I just need a... I could put a space dock here. It's only going to take 22 days to build that. Or a... Isn't there a refueling station? Oh, that's right. I think I never invented the refueling station because I didn't understand why you might want it. And I still kind of don't. This takes 40 power. This takes 10. Okay, that being the case, I might as well build a shipyard, which also takes 40. It does take 60 days. That's okay. I'm not in a tearing hurry. Uh, let's do that. Okay, so you, I want you to transfer to uh, Mars, low Mars orbit, please. And you should take your time. How long did it say it was going to take? 60 days. So yeah, burn burn your fuel. Get there pretty fast. Keep some Delta V. Um, and then we'll have you refuel from that. Oh, you might need enough Delta V to get to the site and back. You need to have... I get, okay, so this is... The acceleration of ships recorded structure on the surface must be exceeded to lift off. Okay, we need to leave at least... Probably double this in order to go down, refuel, come back up. I guess. Um, so I'll just leave you. Yeah, I'll leave a bit. They'll be there in 12 weeks. That's a long time, but... It's okay. I don't need them around Earth right now, so... Go, go ahead and transfer over to Mars. I'm not sending these guys because I think they would be unsuccessful at bombarding anything that had even the base, most basic point defense. Um, and also, I'm not sure these torpedoes can bombard through atmosphere. Yeah, no, these can't. These they can't even bombard even if there's no atmosphere. Mars Mars does count as having an atmosphere in this, right? Even though it's uh, really thin. Uh, oh, here we go. The speed a rocket must obtain to reach a low stable orbit. Delta V of station must be at least 3 KPS. F sorry, 5 KPS. Crap. Okay, I might have just sent these guys on a trip they will not be able to return from. Maybe I'll be able to come down with less than that? <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> that's, uh, that's unfortunate. Well, maybe we lost these guys. <laughs> hey, like I said, we live and we learn. Other thing I wanted to check. Do any other factions have a worrying fleet? <clears throat> servants, no. Initiative, no. Where is that servant fleet going, by the way? Earth or extreme orbit. Protectorate, yeah, meaningless. So Exus has some. And of course, the aliens are terrifying. Okay. 
All right, I think that's all I need to see. Let's keep the game going. The plan is, you know, keep getting tech and basically start really focusing on tech on the idea that, yeah, there we go, fleet combatants. I really need to move towards a world where we can start challenging the aliens properly in space. Um, I should probably actually spend more stuff on mining, uh, even though I know I just said it's more efficient to spend it in other ways, but I can't do that right now, so. So like here, for example, this is a big, a fairly big metal mine. I think uh, upgrading that doesn't doesn't seem like a bad idea. Unpowered mod power modules will produce four more. So I basically have like two free mission control. I think. Um, which puts us at 45 hatred. Yeah, so I'm going to put one upgraded thing on whichever has the best metal output because I think metal is the one they have the weakest production of and that is this one. Okay, so we need the colony mining. Right, which I can't afford because they are monumentally expensive to build specifically on Mercury. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. One thing we could potentially do, yeah, take less damage from auto bombardment. That's definitely helpful. Less damage from alien weapons. I'm already doing an alien tech though, so I don't want to do that. Um, Europe Ascendant's probably, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Let's let's finally get Europe Ascendant done. That way we can get Turkey and then Eurasia integrated in here. Taking out the alien life forms, that's good. New battle station done. And some new space works. Nice. So our capacity to build ships is expanding. International Space Station currently unpowered. Is that because stuff is ongoing? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so a lot of defenses here because I really want to make sure we always have at least some... Ooh, more stabilized missions. Yeah, that's going to be helpful. Um, we have at least some capacity to um, have something staying in orbit, basically. Okay, so here we go, landing. Remember, I can't move the Taiwanese army and I can't disband it, so we are just going to kill it. Uh, that's okay. We no longer have lost control of the legislative point in Singapore. Damn. So Project Exodus. That's unfortunate. I do have a claim on this, don't I? Yeah. That is unfortunate. Why did I not lock this down? Because I haven't done the head, apparently. No worries. Um, relations. We are technically in conflict with Project Exodus right now. We will... Uh, I'll see what I can do to rectify that. Okay, Valerie. You just go ahead and purge straight in here. I don't think you'll struggle, even if they lock it down. I think you're going to have uh, be met with success. When does purge fire again? Quite late, which means they might try and crack down my main point. So Cyprian, I think I need you to crack down their point to make sure that they don't crack down our point. Your crack down will fire first because you are a living god. Uh, meanwhile, stabilizing China. We have a surplus of ops right now. I'll give you. I'll give you whatever it takes there. You. Who are you talking to? Exodus. Yeah. Okay. Keep talking to Exodus because I'm going to annoy them by taking Singapore from them. And then yeah, we have three. No, two stabilizers firing on China right now. Sonia, you're boosting popularity in Singapore. That's not necessary anymore. Sonia, just stabilize China, please. Really need to get China under control. Um, with no spoils stuff, I should worry about a coup in China. It's not impossible. Okay, we've landed here, and uh, I will show you how how outmatched the Taiwanese forces are. This is what our army looks like. This is what their army looks like. We've got, like, rail guns on our tanks, so... Oh, we, we lost the first hit, though. 56% chance to increase occupation. Are they not fighting us? Like, can we not fight their army directly? It's interesting. We actually aren't that much stronger than them. Only one point, but I have loads of armies, so. Abort to the contact mission, darn. We lost track of that Exodus guy. I think there's other Exodus people, so. Yeah, I will try and save who we can. Yeah, all these guys are joining. And I am going to keep these pop-ups just because um, it's good to try and keep track of stuff, I think. Keep track of where your armies are, because otherwise, yeah, I don't want them in the outliner, because they got stuff. Oh, we did it already. Nice. Okay, so we conquered Taiwan. 
Holy Christ. Yep, okay. <laughs> that gave us five unrests. Very unrealistic. But, uh, oh well. We got 30, 33 million additional people from Taiwan. Caused the entirety of China to, to be thrown into massive disarray. But we will see what we can do. Try and change that as quickly as we can. Get things back under control. You guys can all airlift home. You guys, once you land, I will also airlift you home. Successful crackdown. Good. Not annoy Exodus, but it was worth doing. Nice. Critical success on that is very, very important. Give me one more crit. Would be really nice. No. So yeah, a guerrilla war is ongoing in China, which is uh, not ideal. But we will make do. Keep this army selected so when it lands, I can send it home. An antimatter harvester. I definitely want to look into that. Maybe that's how we can... Uh, Take the fight to the aliens effectively. Get some get some antimatter weapons going. Um, but yeah, look at that. The investment points absolutely tanking in China. Uh, is now trending towards yeah 4.5. Okay, so we do still need some welfare spending to get that up to all the way up to five. There is our control over Singapore and fleet combatants is done. Nice cruiser, battleship, and battle cruiser unlocked. So these things are big battleships. You need two nose. Six hull. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Next. Um, build armies faster. No, we're not going to build armies. Oh, was it because the counter aliens operation teams was useful that I wanted that? Uh, remind me. Counter -alien, yeah, minus three on terrorize. That is pretty nice. It's not a crucial though. Um, exotic armor. Yeah, maybe our armor is where I want to include the... Uh, I don't know what the best thing to spend exotics on is. So I'm just going to have to invent them all and then, you know, try it out. A foundry could be useful. It would let me... Yeah, let's, let's just bang out foundry because it's pretty quick. Um, it'll let me iterate on how we lay out our, our things. By the way, what did inspire me to come back to Terran Victor is that, f uh, that we're on version 3 point something, I think 6. And version 4 has been in beta for a long time. Um, and it's now... It's almost out, basically. Um, and I would like to play on the new version because there's some improvements. For example, you don't research like... At least, so the patch notes say I haven't verified this, but it claims you don't research like 10 texts that are just different sizes of ba laser battery, which is good because this is not... Uh, it's not fun. Like, it doesn't add much to, to research. You know, the 350 meters, millimeter, and then the 600 millimeter, and then the 700 millimeter or whatever. Aliens are taking notice of our expanding space operations. Yes, I I know. I know. We're running... We're close to the edge right now. So if we wanted to coup China... Okay, it's still really hard, even with the current national, level of national unrest. That's good. We basically just need to focus on stabilizing China right now, I think. Yeah, this is training towards 2.4. Not a big fan of that. Basically, it just needs more economy spending to try and stabilize the Eurasian Union. Merging the Eurasian Union into the EU will hurt, by the way, because it is an anocracy. But uh, it will be worth it. So I think I might do, like, everyone... Rue locked down Singapore for me. Maybe I should have let Exodus take it and then just conquered it. Like, that would have been faster, but... Yeah. Priorities here, by the way. Do not spend on knowledge. I don't want you to increase the democracy any more than it already is. In fact, yeah, just spend on unity in order to try and lower the democracy score. 3.5 is plenty of welfare. Just spend on unity. Just try and lower the democracy score as much as possible so it doesn't cause as much problems when we unify it into China. Cyprian, you just stabilized China. No big surprise there. Let's do a check. Hello, Valerie. The wonderful Valerie could do with a level up. Uh, you seem to have one too little administration. I'm sure that was, there was some reason for that. So I hope there was. I could give you... Some security, military, 4% military is, is tempting, 3% unity, also tempting. I don't know if the alien army tech advances, if we could get to the point where our armies can actually challenge them without nuclear support, that would be helpful. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of any of the options, so let's throw that on, but you know, consider it... Uh, temporary you faith what am i upgrading for you right now command apparently because you are an advisor commander then you are uh 
well placed to start advising very soon. 10 levels up, and then Faith is the perfect advisor. And I'm finally going to start actually advising. I, I, I'm almost certain that I've been very silly with the advising. I should have just picked a counselor, pushed nothing but admin and science, ignored everything else, and then uh, just had them go and advise like a decade ago. Um, but, you know. That just means there's improvement to be made. Nothing wrong with improvement to be made. So hopefully we're not any worse than in conflict with Exodus. Yeah, good. So we should hopefully still be able to make nice with them. I have lots of tech that I'm perfectly happy to give them. We do have claims on Sri Lanka, right? Yeah, but I'm not necessarily interested in taking it. Um, it would help us not have quite so high cohesion in India. Um, and it would add a region to India, which makes it more defensible. But it's just in such a bad state. But I'm not sure I want it. It's also quite hard to get because um, it's so small economically. But yeah, it's on the list. In fact, you know, I should I should make a list of uh, uh, like geoscape goals. Geoscape goals are Turkey, Sri Lanka, and then New Mega Nation. And for a while, we were trying something in South America um, with Bolivia. The problem is we nuked Bolivia too many times. This place is just ruined. There's fallout here, which means it's uh, it's stuck on the lowest possible GDP, I think. Um, so I don't think we're going to be able to unify this. I think instead we might turn our attention to Ethiopia and start unifying up India. Uh, sorry, India, Africa. But for now, you know, it's more important that we uh, stabilize this. There's a ship component. I'm not really interested in the ship laser components. Stole my exotic nanowire battery. How dare you? Oh, oh who's this? Resistance trying to raise unrest in India. I'm sorry, in India. In uh, China. Why am I... <laughs> my naming is not very good at the moment. You are going to be murdered for this offense. Because you have good stats and no one likes... It doesn't seem like anyone you know particularly cares about you. So, they're definitely going to kill you. And there goes... Tanking that. Nice. Critical success. One more crit, please. Nah. 3.3, though. Huge improvement. 10 extra investment points. Particle cannon. I definitely want to look into what that does. Heavy railgun battery. Likewise. Haha, <laughs> we actually caught him. That's funny. He's got low, uh, low loyalty, but yeah, we could definitely do with killing him, because he has... Um... Wait, his stats just lowered? Ah, oh, because his org stopped playing. That's right. Right, this is why it's such good stats. He has the, uh, the special... Special resistance one. Some of these I could do with. <clears throat> like, that's nice. That's really nice, actually. This is pretty good. That's nice. Whoa, that's really good. Kaiser Securities. That's amazing. Two espionage, two science, and one protection. Yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. So, uh, Singapore in 71 days is due to do its um, federation with China. And by China, I mean Pan Asian Combine. Rujing, you have uh, good admin, don't you? Why don't you go and hostile take over this guy? And we need three people still lowering it in Pan Asian Combine, just in case they all crit. I don't want to waste any points. So Jaspal, you can switch to here, because you were spending points on doing it, and I'd rather not. And then Valerie. No, actually. Faith, you are the one that I most want to get stats up. Go hostile take over this guy and you can spend some money. It's fine. Money is uh it's tight, but it's not that tight. Right now. Okay. Um yeah, obviously we also have control of Brazil. I'm just remembering. Uh, so I should check out here. Yeah, just uh I haven't been trying to lower the unrest because I just uh I don't have a good way to do that, really. Um and we can't really raise the cohesion simply because the inequality is high. So focusing on welfare and economy to fix both those problems. Having a foothold in South America via Brazil is good just because it gives us adjacency to lots of places. It makes it easy for us to um, get in and declare war on these guys if we need to. But yeah, the high unrest means I am worried about it flipping to someone else's control. There's Antimatter Harvester. Let's invent that just so we can uh, experiment with it. Like I said, oh, we are gaining some now. 2274Z. Which, again, I think these are orders of magnitude. So, a 1a is 10 times more than 1b, but I'm, I'm not certain. 
Um, heavy infrared laser batteries. I do want those because they add a defensive thing. I don't know which laser is better. I don't propose to learn, <laughs> at least not in the short term. Heavy rail cannon. Yeah, I will want to experiment with that. Trapped Van Allen antimatter. A new harvester module has recovered antimatter from Earth's Van Allen belts. 130. 60 nanograms of anti-protons accumulated uh, over about a century may, may save it to support our space operations or provide it to our researchers. Stockpile it gives us 160F or study it for a month's research. Well, I only want to use antimatter if I have like a sustainable source of it. So I'm going to study it. Which immediately, ironically, completed the antimatter harvest of event. Nice. Uh, new administration tower, that's good. So, urge missions are good. Antimatter spiker. Tiny antimatter, 50% boost in fission and fusion drives. It's pretty cool. And it costs what? P, 30p. So I, again, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how this works, but yeah. Anyway, uh, global empire, another 100 control points. You know what? Wow, well, no, that's too expensive. That's too expensive. Two missions. Heavy green laser batteries seem good just because they add to tier 3 defensive modules, which means I assume they're, you know, big and good. There's serious thinking going on here. Um, oh, yeah, no, I should definitely get this because we're, we're often short on money, so being able to sell stuff more effectively is great. So where's the beautiful one? Oh, no, where is it? Here it is. Kaiser Securities. Absolutely want you to do that. And then, yeah, go again. Um, it's you that I want to equip this, I think. This thing seems great. Two espionage, two science, one security. For him, I'm just using it for the science and security, so that's probably not a good idea. Who needs the espionage? Valerie, could I take something off you that gives you two espionage, one security by any chance? Um, this is close enough. Uh, but that's only one pip. But she has a spare in that I can take this off. It's pretty good though. Three for one. I could take this off. Is how much security does it give? Just one. Uh, lowest code command, which I also don't really want to do. Hey, oh, here. I can take this off. Mm. But I do like the welfare boost and that would leave her with more than we need. Okay, here we go. I take this off. And then I put this on. Leaving her with still 24 espionage. So I do need to be bump that once. Leaving her still with... Uh, oh, with too much security, actually. Okay. Um, I mean, she's at 18 security. That's, that's quite a bit too high. I could take... I don't want to take... Yeah, all these all these ones that give security also give good other stuff. So, but yeah, she needs one more investigation. I think that's a good, good switch up. Um because it bumps her science quite quite meaningfully. Now, who else could we give this? Because it's pretty good. This is, well, 4 for 2 is not amazing. It's pretty good, though. It's espionage. 2 espionage, 1 investigation. You have, uh, yeah, the right amount of investigation right now. So if I could take off 1 investigation, ideally 1 investigation, 1 security off you. You could do this. This is only 1 pip, though. 1 star. Okay, I could take off this. Hmm. How much investigation does it give? Just one. Okay, so I could take this off, which is, I mean, it's also two for four, so. Oh, great. Okay, here we go. I take this off, which he doesn't need to carry out any of his missions. He does, actually, for increased unrest and assault alien asset. Surely something else here gives you assault alien asset. El Astra or defense services? No, okay. Can't take that off him then. Um, that's three for one. I'm not going to take a three for one off to add a two for one. Here we go. But a two, this is a two for one. And this is a two for one. So I could take those two off and put this on. No, I think there's no, there's no, nothing that makes sense to me there. You have some one for ones. Now that's terrible. But I don't really want you to have more espionage and investigation. It doesn't really help you at all. Uh, I mean, it makes you harder to find, I guess, which is useful. Not good enough. So I actually think I don't need this right now. 
Again, Sonya, sorry, not Sonya, Valerie could use it. You have too much security, right? Yeah, okay, so I take off Interpol. Yeah, I take off Interpol, I put this on, because you have 24 right now? Yeah. So this puts you at 26. But you're not making use of these two security. So this is effectively a two, where this is giving her a, a one... Well, okay, only really one point. Because it's only giving her one espionage. But it frees up me to take this off. Hmm. Do you need the Special Forces group? Mm, don't think so. Yes, you do for Assault Alien Asset. But you don't, you don't Assault Alien Asset much. Okay, so I can take this off her, lowering her command by one, and stopping over-raising her, command, her um, security. Yeah, okay, so now she has 26 security. Now I could give her this, but she only needs one espionage. So can I do that another way? Yes, this gives one espionage, one investigate. Which you want over on investigate, obviously, but it's one pip, which is better. Um, what else can I take off for you to make this work? This is a 2-2. Two, two. I took that off and put this on. She would still be at 24, but she would be one down on investigation. At which point... Well, why, I mean, why would I want to do that? Anyway? <clears throat> That's just, that doesn't achieve anything. Um, I kind of want to put something on her that gives her two command, honestly. At this point. Nothing really seems to do that, though. Because she's now at... 24, 15... 26. So yeah, I mean, science or command are what she actually could do with. Um, or just something like this. Jet propulsion. Boost up uh, boost up our boost investment and all that stuff. Uh-huh. Get it? Boost up, boost up. No? Nobody? Okay. Um, I'm conflicted. I think I put this to bring her espionage up to 25 and then just like this honestly and maybe we look at something else in the future but for now just give her a little bit of unity boost because uh, boost. yeah now she has 25 26 26 so a little inefficient but at least 25 there and yeah I think that's I think that's fine gives her some some more tech boost you, I'm not going to mess with because you're you're looking good. You're looking good. Jing, you are newer. And hence, I suspect, less efficiently set up. Yeah, like this. One for one. That's not, uh, that's not inspiring, is it? I could give you... Security doesn't do too much. I don't think I actually want... Okay, in that case, let's sell this. Two for three is rubbish. And let's keep on. Keep on, keep it on. Okay, cool. So, okay, now complicating things once again. Um, but I can get one science, one espionage for two. Two science for three. Science and energy research. This is probably what I want. And then, yeah, do it, do it again. Okay, so, Faith, can I get this? What would it take to give you an extra science? I'm, I'm happy to lower his command a bit. It's not a big deal. So let's just do that. Uh, take this off. Put this on. And I'm happy to do that several times. Because his command is, is useful. But you know if you urgently need it, we can always get them back. Let's sell this security related one. Because it's not, uh, not important right now. But yeah, I want to crank his science as much as I can. So let's, uh, let's keep, keep our focus on that. Because as soon as we've lowered his science enough. Sorry, raised his science enough. Oh god. Arrived in low Earth orbit? Is that another huge alien fleet? That ain't good. Okay, it's not it's not massive. I think it just merged with this one. Okay, but still, that's uh troubling. Troubling, troubling, troubling. Uh reduced unrest. 5.5, they're good. Go on, give me one crit. One one sweet crit. No crits. Uh and this is trending towards what? Zero. Good. So we can stop. It's under two. She's no longer, no longer need to focus on this. So what do we do next? Uh, take control of Turkey. 
I think. So they're ready for March. Seems like the right play. It looks like we might go hot against Exodus. I'm sick of the diplomacy in this game. Frankly, I don't think it's a good system. So I think we're just going to go hot against Exodus at this point. Maybe that means I should take some low Earth orbit stations off them. But uh, I, I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm tired of the, of the diplomacy. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I think there's, it's, it's the main area of the game that needs to be worked on, is my opinion. The inter, inter, interracial, interfaction um, diplomacy. Um, so yeah, we're going to take, take Turkey now. We'll do some, we'll do some opinion boosting. And then, you know, you know how it goes. We have our crack team. We'll just smash our way in. Should be good. Ships of the line, Lancer and Dreadnought. Oh, I didn't even know there was a higher tier one. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. In fact, we're not doing any military tech right now. Let's stop doing integrated research project. I'll do that in this future, but give me ships of the line. Let's take a look, by the way, at the new ships we can uh, design. So there's the battle cruiser, which has three nose, two hull. And there's the battleship, which has two nose, six hull. Okay. In terms of nose weapons, yeah, I really haven't invented much. Not the much I haven't uh, obsoleted anyway. But we have these for the defense. And then for the hull weapons... I guess I could put, yeah, Railgun Mark III. What's the range on this? 370. How fast does it fire? Once every 12 seconds. I assume that the 3 is strictly better than the 1. Muzzle velocity is higher. Targeting range is higher. Shot battery consumption is 50% higher. But the damage is 100% higher. Yeah, okay, so we can obsolete the old versions of those. What else have we invented recently? The 8-inch cannon. Yeah, we're definitely not going to use that. So we've got an infrared battery, green laser battery. Now, is the... Like, same question. Is the green strictly better? Uh, it's far better at getting through armor. Its cooldown is the same. Its targeting range is the same. Its shot battery consumption is slightly higher. Okay. And its damage is the same. Okay, so it seems like the higher um, energy, it's higher energy, right? Infrared is lower than green. Which end of the electromagnetic spectrum is more energetic? <laughs> it's radio, radio on the left, gamma on the right. Is that right? This is very embarrassing. Hang on. And obviously, green right of red. Infrared spectrum, not infrared spectrum. Electro... <laughs> Magnetic. I'm not an idiot, I swear. Spectrum. Electromagnetic spectrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Radio on the left, gamma on the right. So basically, what we've done by going from 120 centimeter infrared to 120 centimeter green is um, substantially increase the, the energy in the laser. Cool, because the frequency is higher. Sorry, I said that you haven't increased the energy. How does that work again? <laughs> you, we've increased the frequency. Yeah, which means the energy... Like, because I know energy is also about the amplitude of the wave. But we have the same... The same amplitude. I assume. Between these two... Is that how it works? <laughs> There's frequency and amplitude. I'm, do, I'm redoing high school physics that I never thought would be useful. So... I thought it was quite... I did... I, I, I didn't think that. But anyway... We're increasing the frequency. Obviously, if you're being hit by a, a laser with twice as many peaks and troughs and so on, you're being hit twice as much, effectively. So by increasing the frequency, we increase the amount of energy we're transferring to the target, and therefore the amount of damage that we're going to do. Or actually, it doesn't increase the damage, interestingly, uh, but I guess it increases its ability to penetrate armor, which is functionally very similar. So... What, what's amplitude? <laughs> I guess the amplitude is the same because it's a 120 centimeter green laser battery. Is 120 centimeters a, a like comprehensible wave? That could that be the amplitude of the wave? What is the okay? I don't think so. Like that's way, way, way too big, right? What is the amplitude of normal visible light? 
just talking about you can normally respond to wavelengths of between 380 to 700 mm. nanometers so this is a green one so it's going to be within that range 540 yes but what what amplitude or is amplitude <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stop talking about this because I'm just obviously ignorant on the subject. But I thought there's frequency and amplitude. And if you increase the frequency or increase the amplitude, you're increasing the amount of energy in the wave. I thought that was how it worked. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're just functions of each other. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> They don't seem like they would be functions of each other. It seems like you could... Well, I don't... Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. Relevant here, I think the green laser battery is functionally just an upgrade of the 120, uh, of, the, of the infrared. So we're going to obsolete the infrared. That was all that that whole conversation was about. What is this? This is a point defense particle beam. Okay. Is that better than my, uh, my point defense laser turret? This thing has a shot damage or... Can I move these around? No. This is my, it does damage of what? It doesn't say. Disrupt the atomic structure of incoming particles. Sick. <laughs> Projectiles, sorry. Uh, four second cooldown. Five second cooldown. 250 targeting range. 200 targeting range. But still, the shot cooldown is good. Why is there no damage listed? I'm going to ask about this on the discord because i i don't want to go down another rabbit hole and and not know okay i've asked the discord hopefully someone will, will let me know but i think this is probably an upgrade like part of, like it just sounds cooler right short battery consumption is 0.2 joules compared to 0.2 joules so it uses slightly more but it's you know it's firing faster um but yeah maybe maybe we end up using these and then yeah i don't know what to put in terms of weapons but We'll see. Anyway, we invented this later, so I assume it's better. <laughs> right, sorry, but I was trying to look into if we were building these bad boys. Let's say we decided that was enough PD, and then we filled it with... Um, yeah, I don't know which... For fighting the aliens, I guess we need basically the fastest torpedoes we can get. So this is... 8 delta V, 3 acceleration, 11, 3 delta V, 11 acceleration... What's the downside? Way less damage. The damage doesn't matter. If it hits at 270, it should kill them, basically. But the type, Well, unless it's the mothership, in which case, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have to invent, like, nuclear torpedoes for the mothership. 2.5, 2.5. Okay, 5. So the Harlequin missile bay is seems like the most able to hit the aliens. But 21 damage is a lot lower. So let's try... So if we load up on Athena's... The ship performance data strength is 14 still, by the way. Um... So then we go utility modules and we go like I'm gonna want liquid hydrogen containment I think um, for the the 10 percent boost oh but it requires a drive so what drive do we actually want so again this is this is for low earth orbit defense or low or low Mars orbit as the case may be um, so I want really high output really high thrust output light bulb drive does seem pretty good 400,018 output oh never mind it's immediately immediately blown out by this uh, I think that's gonna be the best we can do so all oh, right or we could go heavy dumbo but you can only have like a certain number of heavy dumbos right no okay yeah it would take way too much propellant to move this thing with a heavy dumbo basically combat acceleration of 3.5 G's though that's not a totally unrealistic amount of delta V for low Earth orbit defense, but let's take a look. So we can do 12.4 at 3.4 delta V. What if I use a fission spinner? So way less propulsion, um, way less combat acceleration, down to kind of one. But look at that. I can I can dramatically cut down on the uh, the propellant usage, which is good because water is a is a problem. I mean, this is 10 days of water, so. That's every time we refuel it. Mass driver seems worthless. It uses metal propellant, which I guess could be useful, but the, these stats don't seem good, so I'm going to obsolete that. Good drive. Hmm. Okay, the Discord is telling me that particle beams 
do damage based on their distance from the projectile. Okay, that's fine, because it'll just be shooting the thing that's closest to them. So the thing it's shooting is likely to be very close to it. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so maybe, maybe we should use particle beams, I don't know. Because these, these nose weapons that we've, we've kept, yeah, they do 10 damage at long range. They should be really good at point defense, I think. Okay, so we could do that. <clears throat> or we could do... I mean, light bulb drive, this seems strictly worse again than fission spinner. Requires much less power. Uh, yeah, it seems seems strictly worse. Okay. Um, but once we put the power plant in, maybe it can use a better power plant, that's one thing. This is a strict upgrade, isn't it? Yeah, we'll get rid of that one then. And then these, combat fission room reactors, these are all strict upgrades, I'm pretty sure. So we can get rid of that, and that, and that. Nice. Okay. So if we throw the power plant in, yeah, 1.1. Combat acceleration, 20 Gs. That seems fine. Seems fine. Mm. Mm. Okay. And then uh, I feel like putting an exotic battery in here just seems like a no-brainer. Because it charges so much faster. It's a lot lighter. And it barely uses any exotics. So, yeah, let's throw that in. And then for the radiator, I only have this jobby. I've obsoleted some strictly worse ones, I think. Okay, so then we would go... Got a lot of utility modules to use. I don't have to use them, of course. So far, I haven't really found the use of heat sinks. I guess... I... You want the heat sinks when you pull in the, the radiator. Because if the radiator is not pulled in, then it's very, very easy for it to be destroyed. And then your ship's in trouble, I think. So basically, you need a heat sink which can hold sufficient heat to allow you to, to last the battle. So I guess I need to know how much heat is this thing generating per second. Is there a way to see that? Heat sink capacity. So if I put a heat sink on here, a big one, my heat sink capacity is high. I don't really understand... I, like, do I actually have to go in here and be like, okay, when this fires, it causes how much heat? None? Does the heat come from the, the reactor? Where's, where's my heat coming from? Or is it from, from lasers? Uh, I saw something about heat. I swear I saw something about stuff generating heat. Maybe it generates... Precisely the amount of heat that it consumes from the battery? No, because I would assume it was using all the energy from the battery just to make heat. Which obviously it's not. Uh... Okay, hang on. Let me let me look this up. Uh, Terra Invicta Heat. <laughs> Questions about heatsink. Depends on your engine. Some engines are open cycle. They dump heat into there sorry i was reading the preview and i've clicked on the reddit thread and i can't see it do, do. so fission spinner drives i think i saw something about them being open cycling yeah, open cycling its heat is expelled through its propellant ship with this driver will require minimal radiators okay high thrust low exhaust velocity drives tend to be open cycle okay Whereas if I was using, like, what's a higher exhaust velocity one that I have? I mean, that's the highest exhaust velocity one I have, so it's funny that it's calling it low. I, okay, I guess that's not true. The grid drive here. Closed cycle. Requires heavy radiators. So this creates heat, but how much? I guess if I put it in, it'll tell me? Like this. I'm still not seeing where it tells me how much heat it's using. Hmm. Like, where... Where is the heat coming in here? Hang on, let me let me Google it for a minute. Hmm. I'm not not really understanding heat sinks. I think we need a heat sink though, um, because we need to be able to draw in the, the nano fiber thing. This combat power seems really low though. I guess Athena torpedoes just aren't very good. 
and it's kind of getting motion from that. Also, we haven't put armor yet, which does make a big difference. So, we want a bonus against probably kinetic. Well, these both have bonus on kinetic. Interesting. Which is which is cheaper? Oh yeah, don't I need to see? Here we go. Yeah, which is lighter? Holy hell! Okay, <laughs> this one by a lot, <laughs> by a great deal. Okay, so we will uh, obsolete this since they both give bonuses to kinetic. And then this is even lighter? No. And it gives no bonus to anything. All right, obsolete that then. And this is bonus against chipping, but way heavier. Wow, look how light this adamantine armor is. That's pretty sick. So, why can't I put this on here? I have to take that off and then put this on. Strange UX. So we put a little bit of armor on, but every bit of armor we put on is going to dramatically slow it down. Right, sorry, and this has the wrong drive. On a fission spinner drive. So because this is open cycle, I think we, we're not producing much heat, basically. How much is not much? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. But let's put... What has this got? So 500 to 200. Similar. Well, no, better actually. Quite a bit better. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use that. Potassium heat sinks. This is a. But this is really heavy. Like that's a. That's a big difference. Ooh, this is way better. This weighs barely more, but gives us a massively higher capacity. Okay, I'm probably not gonna use that then. This weighs 200 and gives us 100. I might use that just because it's so much lighter. That I am never going to use. Never going to use that. Okay, good. Um, I, okay, let's put a molten heat sink on it. I don't know, 900 joules. Sorry, gigajoules. Sounds like enough to me. <laughs> and then liquid hydrogen containment. Just give us that little bit of extra speed. And then just magazines, I guess. So we can fire longer. Then... Maybe we can go down a bit, like, to 12 cruise delta V. Less than a... I think, but yeah, so this would have 90. But now if I start putting... If I armor the nose... Basically, I think armor anywhere increases the combat power. Well, except when it actually slows it down too much. But I don't think we need that much armor on the back. But like, what if I put, like, 40 armor on the nose? Yeah, basically, that means it has to be a standoff ship. It can't let the enemy get close. And the enemy is small and maneuverable and fast. So how the heck am I going to enforce something like that? <laughs> this looks doable, though. So this is 100 and, 120 power. This is the equivalent of four. So I don't need 30 of these. Rather than 100 monitors. 33 of these. Rather than 100 monitors. Sorry. 25 of these. Rather than 100 monitors at 30 each. 25 of these though i mean they take 190 days to build each in in space works so that's a, that's a lot that's a lot but we could have like seven or eight of these deploy at the same time this is a what is this this is a torpedo boat so this is, i'm gonna call this torp torp gunship and you can auto it's a defense bomber sure save that design for now um, but we're not gonna build it yet i think we need better um nose weapons I think, I think we can get some more value out of our nose okay you are training up but hopefully not over two it is going slightly over two we're investing in economy though so that should help uh yeah cohesion is gonna come down as well yeah, no welfare spending there is good this all looks right to me okay and we got through that last turn we got about 0 0.04 boost per month sorry per day um it's pretty good so that means only 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 you know six or so turns and we should be good on that. So yeah, we don't need to be reducing the stuff in um, that place. Panish and Combine, thank you, Brain. Uh, anymore, so that's good. Now, Valerie should probably get to murdering this guy maybe next turn. So you know what? Detain him this turn, and then I'll murder him next turn. I want him detained so he doesn't go to ground, so we don't lose sight of him. Meanwhile, Sonya... And do we need you to boost in Singapore? No, Singapore's feeling pretty secure to me right now. And yeah, we are successfully lowering the democracy score a bit. Meanwhile, the democracy score in uh, Panasian Combine, almost 0 0.1. Oh, baby. <laughs> Flawed democracy in India is uh, growing. That's good. Um, everyone's fully inspired, right? Yeah, good. Um, 
Okay, I guess we start on Turkey. So, public campaign and Cyprian, you can probably use public campaign as well. Yeah, don't want to spend too much money on it. So, a big round of public campaigns. You can't, so chance to just go straight in and purge is basically non existent. There could be a servant operative here, there could be some excess people here. Um. Faith, I don't really have anything for you to do, so just do another hostile takeover, I guess. Because I think I might have Jing do something else this turn. Who else have we got available? Who's on do on deck for this? Servant in Singapore. You got any got any nice orgs? No. Yes. Okay, sure. Do do a hostile takeover against them. Jing, you can public support. You're not very good at it, but that's okay. And just bow one more lower in Russia. Seems like a good idea. Just to make sure it's nice distance from the limit to your missions. High temperature superconductors. Nice. That's going to be, uh, it's going to unlock a lot of stuff for us, I hope. Antimatter weaponry. I would like to invent that. So ultraviolet. Again, this is like going more and more energetic. Does this unlock better PD? I don't see anything specifically called PD in here, but I assume I can use these as PD. What are we researching right now at the top level? Because at least one should be military. Yes, this should definitely be military. So, nuclear fusion in space. I don't know. This could be good. I don't know what these things do. But let's, yeah, let's get ultraviolet combat lasers. I think that seems like a good place to invest. Uh, searching for who's in Brazil. Yeah, we still have these two, um, you know, locked in. Are you hungry, buddy? Detained them. Good. Nice. 100% success chance. You love to see it. Hello, but you want some dinner? All right, I'm gonna go feed the dog from your perspective. This will take me about five seconds, <laughs> but I will be back. I'm also gonna eat dinner and watch a video on how the electromagnetic spectrum works because I could tell you, not perfectly, but I could tell you how like gravitational lensing works, but I couldn't tell you what the amplitude means on light, I think. So I need to go and, I need to go and watch a video. I'll be back in about five seconds. Okay, okay, I was right even if I was putting it badly. More amplitude, brighter light. Okay. <laughs> now that I have hopefully somewhat redeemed myself, where were we? Right, we're taking over Turkey. That's right. We're going to put Turkey in the EU. Good stuff. 2 and 2% 2 welfare and 10 life science research. Jesus, look at all these science bonuses. Servants really pushing science. Oh, he's got a bunch of science ones. Nice. Well, I'm going to take quite a few things off you. Uh, who are we putting them on? Why Faith, of course. The beautiful Faith should be uh, should be getting there. Have you got um, max science bonuses? Yeah, you do. Okay, so what can I take off you? What is your admin right now? It is 25, unfortunately. So I can't take that off you. I could lower your... Uh, what's your security? 17 plus 7 is 25. So I can't really lower your security stat. I could take these two off, lowering command by one more, and then put on one, effectively one science, because we're taking one science off here. Or you don't need investigation. So I could take this off, later give them one point of security, and I've only lost one command for, for the two science, kind of. Or this, this is two for three. That's not very good. Yeah, I'll take this off, and then in the future we'll give him three more security levels. It's risky. You know, he might get killed. And he also actually now has a free point. Okay, maybe I can use that. So this has 1-1. One, one. Can I do better than a 1-1 one, one on defense? Not really. Unless you have... This is 2-2 two, two as well. Okay, this is 2 for 2. Because he doesn't need the espionage. So I can take that off. And actually probably put this back, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, but now he's still got one excess, which means in the future I can replace, say, this for a two science one. That works for me. I don't. I don't think I'm going to need this because I don't need the espionage. I want his uh, some of his stats to be a bit higher. But lots of people stealing my stuff. You know what? Let's check the codex. How do I stop those missions? It is the. Is this kind of is it just me? This it's kind of sickening to scroll this. Like I don't know, it makes me a bit confused. Security, protect mission security. What? Hmm. 
I'll support shortage mission control. So we're doing all we can because like, we, we've cranked out, we've like maxed out security on all our agents. So I have no idea how they're able to break through. I guess there's just more modifiers on the attacking side. Plus, we're only seeing the successes. So it's very much a uh, kind of confirmation bias thing. You guys should have benefited home ages ago. Ah, oh, but they are. They are doing so. Okay. Uh, boosting in Turkey. Yep, keep on at it. Here is Union somewhat stabilized and rest trending down here. Oh, no, rest value of 2.8 all of a sudden. Why is that? Is it because I took armies out of the country, maybe? Maybe other people's armies here count? Cohesion is uh, is slowly rising. Okay, we'll just need to keep an eye on that then. More boosting in Turkey. Good. <clears throat> Let's check. That army just left. Is it now four? It is. Okay. So yeah, we do still have a lot of unrest to deal with in the Pan-Asian Combine. Fine. We deal with that with um, getting the cohesion up, which is doing, you know, 1.2. Uh, sorry, 0.12 in, in the last month is, is pretty fast. Treasonous descent. Yeah, they're, uh, they're not happy with us over here. Lose cohesion. Doesn't matter. Make concessions. Gain cohesion. Also doesn't matter. Strengthen the armed forces. Loose cohesion. Um, no reason not to strengthen the armed forces, I think. Like, the education and training is not helpful. So, sure, give me a, give me a short-term little boost to the armed forces here. Ooh, it looks like it actually just plowed... It treated it like actual investment in armed forces, so it lowered our unrest here, too. Cool. All right, that's a bunch of new fission reactor farms. Still in the green on thistles. Let's take a look now. Okay, the ISS is online. 1,300 power. We are rocking a 120 centimeter green laser battery, a railgun battery, and a point defense particle beam. Okay. Fine. And we have three of those, and this is now fully powered. <clears throat> Good. Takes a lot of power to run these battle stations. You can see this thing is mostly power. Power and a couple of space works. <laughs> these are still fission aren't they yeah oh i'm such an idiot i've been passing over that tech that's fusion in space haven't i i'm sh i bet that's farcically effective in terms of producing electricity now i think about it whoops whoops okay this one is finished and i look like looks like i mismanaged the power my bad um these take 120 each i put fission reactor farms on they produce 125 these produce also 125 that's right i forgot I made a mistake, didn't I? I was building all of these things even though they're only just as good as solar farms. So I should actually go through. It will disable this place for for, the, for a little while. We're going to quick build. Got to make sure we don't do the thing we did earlier though and burn all our booster. We're in real trouble. Okay, we're going to temporarily turn off the International Space Station because I need, uh, I need the power. <clears throat> but now the max power should still be... It should have stayed the same. Cool, and now yeah, I'm going to go through and, and check if I did that anywhere else. So here, we're struggling for power. Don't really need the Marine Company barracks, but I guess I should. what I should do is replace one manufacturing complex with a solar farm. It should, uh, yeah, balance the books. There, good. Protect this. Right, yes, I was going to build stuff here. Right, that's right. There's the heavy fission reactor farm, which is which is better than the fission reactor farm. I remember. I remember. So I could have used a couple of those, I guess, on the last station. But they, I mean, it uses 0.75 thistles a month. That seems quite high to me. So we're going to need more power here, for sure. So throw down a couple of those. And then what else would be good? Right now it's got a bunch of layer defense arrays. Let's upgrade some of those to battle stations. And where, this is in low Earth orbit, isn't it? Yeah, low two. So I guess two, two battle stations probably makes sense. I think that's roughly what I'm going to be going for. Still has power for more, and I've got effectively three slots to use. Well, more than three slots because all this destroyed stuff. Um, some marine platoon barracks wouldn't wouldn't be the worst thing. I think it costs money, but uh, does give me some. You know, some some more ops income makes it a bit more a bit easier to defend. It, but uh, is that worth it? Maybe I should just push foundries. But at this point, we're already at 166% bonus. I don't know if that's 
worth it. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm just going to start building more and more shipyards. Because we need the capacity to rapidly construct a fleet. Because when we turn on the aliens, we're not going to have much of a fleet. You know, we're gonna, the, the process of building the fleet is what's going to make them turn on us. Which means I actually am going to try and put three battle stations on this thing. We'll see if that's at all feasible. We're using a lot of solar power here. This is a heavy thistle. So I think that works. Yeah, I've got enough available power now to put another space works in. Yes, yeah, actually more power than we need. There should be a planning mode where you, you tick on planning mode and then you can just design the thing without spending stuff and see the resulting numbers. That would be a really good change. In fact, I'm going to, such a good change, I'm going to write that down and make a suggestion. Uh, main objections. Uh, planning mode for building halves. Yeah, that would be a really nice addition. Big addition, don't get me wrong, but... Uh, Okay, so we have 180 additional power. These things use 100, sorry, produce 125. So we effectively have um, 45, 55. 55 plus 25. Hang on, what am I doing here? <laughs> the amount we have is 180, minus 125. What is it, 80 minus 25? Why is that, why is that difficult? 85, it's 65. Okay, so we have 65 power available if I replace one of the um, solar farms with something else. So with 65 power, what do I want? Throw a life sciences institute on there? Doesn't, doesn't, uh, seems like it wouldn't hurt. Although, actually, what's the upkeep on these? Yeah, it's not that bad. The upkeep on this whole place is not going to be that bad. It's basically just a solar farm with a bunch of, uh, well, what's the upkeep on space works? Yeah, also not that bad. So if this is probably enough. Probably. Maybe a layered defense array, actually. Yeah, it's only 40 energy. Let's put that on there. Should be good. Yeah, nice. So two two battle stations. Or did I go with three battle stations and the layered defense array? Should leave this pretty darn defensible. Okay, we're down to 4,000 metal, so don't, uh, don't overdo it here. Yeah, I think that is what I should be doing right now. I'm just going to focus on making myself in a position to fight the aliens and the way I do that is by building a whole bunch of well defended space stations with a lot of space works and then I can suddenly produce a huge navy we can then we can stockpile resources and then just you know in in 190 days suddenly have a huge ton of ships come out I think that I think that's that's the play so the ad complex is 9090 close enough but three battle stations basically negligible. 15 thistles. Sorry, uh, volatiles is currently the highest. And then I think I put three of these, which is 30. And then a bunch of solar farms, which cost next to nothing. Yeah, so one ag complex should be perfectly sufficient. Now to keep defending these places, should I also be putting marine barracks on? That is the question. Right now I have 55 energy available. Is that enough for one of these bad boys? Not quite. I think that probably isn't a bad idea. Just putting some platoon things on but then i mean if you have a layer defense array you if you if your layer defense array succeed your marine companies never need to come into action so i think i'm just going to go like this yeah, i think that's good and then i think i should probably save this have template uh, well i'll name it and then save it let me, let me delete that one i just made serve so to ring yeah we don't want that one but let me uh let me change the name so this is the this is the earth dock basically Save that had template and then rename it back to its original. Do 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 all this. I'm assuming that battle stations are more than twice as good as layered defense arrays. I mean they use <laughs> five times the power, so sorry, six times the power. So you'd kind of hope so, right? What's this? A command center? Did I just nick this off someone? Why the heck have I got a command center here? Don't want that. I guess we should maybe also build actually a bunch of command centers around Mercury. In anticipation of going hot. 
we still got not long <laughs> four years i think until we need to need to go to war so we basically we should try to go to war with the aliens latest plan to declare in like june 20 uh, june 41 which means if there's a bit of short delay we should still be ready Hmm. Yeah, like I feel like I said like a lot, but we, there's no excuse for not having battle stations, I think, at this point. So we're going to need to um going to need to make that a reality. That helps with the power consumption here. I guess this one this one is doing other useful stuff with its uh, science and stuff, so that's okay. So we have an available uh 80 power ish here. Nanofacturing from nanofactory. Yeah, looks like that will fit. No, it doesn't. Just not quite. Damn. Zine Science Research Center, we must have too many of them. Oh, 52 from HAB modules, actually. Not not that many. Maybe it's not powered. No, it is powered. Okay. Um What do I do then? I guess I just eat my mistake and go back to nanofactory here. Now we're down to a thousand metal and I'm using quick build, so I'm going to stop building things before I accidentally spend all my boost and cripple myself. So uh, let's not do that. Good stuff. Okay, I'm going to call it a part there. In the next episode, we will integrate. The European Union will absorb the Eurasian Union and Turkey. Um, and yeah, we are moving towards war with the aliens. Getting pretty close now. Um, we've got to, we urgently need to start getting some kind of decent ship designs out there, basically. We'll see. We'll see. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.